Sorry I haven't posted a video for a while. I've been out hiking. I just got back from a six-day hike, and in April I also took a five-day hike, so that's slowing progress down a little bit. As you know, building anything for a boat is slow progress anyways, but I hope that in the future I'll make a little bit faster progress and have more to show you. I'll try to post something like at least once a month. We'll see. Here's some of the progress that I've made. Here's a crude ore lock. I still have to grind everything down, refiberglass some stuff and fair it out. <coughs> and then here's some universal joint ore locks that I made. This is Lexan. It is flexible, but stiff enough to push the boat along. I've used this for a paddle before. And that little flex gives it a little snap at the end when you stop your oar stroke and lift it out and that gives the boat a little bit of extra force. If you're not familiar with Lexan, this stuff is really tough. This plastic piece here and the plastic that the oar locks will pivot on inside is just butcher board. You can get this anywhere and it's surprisingly tough and resilient. It's slick and you can make a tight fit at the same time and it won't wear. These are the pieces that are going to hold on the wooden frames. We're just gonna go around like and I'll run bolts through them. Got it set up so that I can mass produce them. Less than an hour and one and a half discs later, that is what 668 pieces looks like, plus this little group. Just received 35 pieces of 20 foot by 3 quarter by 1 eighth angle. And these I'll use to wrap around the outside of my wooden frame. Second half, tack welded. And here's how it fits. I mentioned this in a video a long time ago, but I thought I would restate it. The point in building the interior this way is to be able to remove the whole interior when I tow it to the launch ramp. So that's why it's getting bolted on and put together piecemeal so that I can transport just the hull, which will probably weigh about 4,000 pounds all by itself. This is a diagram of what the boat will end up looking like. SV Seeker is doing some coins and so they requested some artwork to put on the coin. So I drew this. From the bow to this part of the boat is going to be 29 feet. This is all enclosed as one piece. This extra piece on the end will be bolted on. And that's where the engine will be, whether it's a diesel or an outboard or a gas engine. 
it will be out back and not part of the living space. This is where the bed will be. This will be an open area which will probably end up being the galley because I want to move some weight forward. This is the raised floor for the pilot house. This will be about seven feet high so that my head is right at the window when I'm standing. And here are the lifelines or guardrail. This sail plan is just something I drew for convenience. I'll probably have a junk rig. And that's why it's called the SV Rusty Junk. But if I do go with a sail plan like this or something that's not a junk rig, then I'll probably change the name to Rusty Voyager. That was from a comment that somebody made a long time ago. I really like that name, so thanks for that comment. This is where the composting head and the shower will be. And this mast will be quite heavy, so I can move it forward if I need to change the weight and balance to get the center of gravity where I need it to be.